So the first clip that we have is John and Lucian have camped out in the river brush. They're on the blue side. They've camped out in the river brush here, and they're catching uh, an enemy Draven and Thresh walking into lane after helping out the blue buff, taking kind of the greedy path. And here we see them trying to punish them for it. All right, so we get this started up here. <laughs> so generally speaking, in this matchup, who do you think has the early advantage between John? Uh, and Lucian? I think Draven and Thresh has a early advantage here. Okay. Uh, Lucian ends up winning. Because they got the surprise. The surprise is also very strong. So they were able to get the surprise, and it was really good for them. Okay. But usually, Draven and Thresh has an advantage in this lane. But because uh, they did that level 1 cheese, they got a huge lead early, and they basically won the lane off that. Okay. So, in this situation, having picked up First Blood, having zoned them away from the early experience in gold, uh, how, like, how, you just said that they basically just won the lane. How yeah. over is this lane? Uh, right now, Lucian just pushed the lane where I'm watching, and it's not very good if you're trying to zone and win the lane. It's like not over. Like, Draven right now can catch up and probably be a threat to Lucian if Thresh also plays well. Okay. So, in this situation, you would have actually slow pushed the lane and froze it? Yeah. You could? Right now, I would slow push it. But Draven can also make a comeback now because his lane is pushing towards him. Okay. And he's going to be able to. Draven's one of the champions that can get all the minions without any support help mm -hmm. if no one's harassing him under the turret. Just because of the massive AD bonus he gets from spinning axes? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so we see this is exactly that. So when you find yourself in this situation, uh, right there, the Lucian just put an auto attack on Thresh and took a tower shot. How important is it to maintain the harass, and how do you safely do that without getting chunked down by the tower? Uh, you have to watch the turret attack, and you have to be in a good range where if you attack them and then walk out really fast, then you'll take no turret damage. And that you can uh, monitor that by checking how fast the turret's going to attack. Like, if the turret just finished attacking a minion, you can go for a harass, and the tur turret will take a longer time to wind up. Mm -hmm. It's hard to manage, but it's it's a thing you can look out for. Tur turrets have attack speed like everyone else does. Right? Yeah. So if they just attack, there's basically a, a mini cooldown where it can't attack again. Yeah, so it'll take longer to, t to attack you. Okay. If you do go for harass, then... And whenever you're playing with it special, do you guys try to time your harass to harass at the same time so you don't have a situation where like one person takes aggro and then clears it and the other person takes aggro? Uh, yeah, we usually communicate that. Okay. So if you guys are duo queuing, that might be something you might work on with your AD carries or supports. Yeah.